Hey guys, I am here today with a Farm Rio dress haul. I mean, a haul of sorts anyway. Farm Rio is a brand that we discovered a few years ago. I think they're based out of Brazil and Julieta was a huge fan and she kind of turned the whole team onto this like really sort of joyful dress. And I mean, they started as like dresses and things and they branched out to like sweaters and separates and things, but like fundamentally Farm Rio to me means dresses. You know, this is a Farm Rio top and the patterns are amazing. The colors are like, vibrant and happy and it's hard not to just be in a good mood when you're wearing something from Farm Rio. That said, they have like a million different dresses to choose from this summer and I just couldn't decide. So I ordered a bunch of my favorites and I just kind of wanted to go through them and talk about some of the little like special design details that make these pieces special. I wanted to sort of highlight like how they fit and where I'd wear them and that kind of thing. One thing you should know, Every single one of these dresses that I'm about to dem demonstrate, model, that feels too aggressive. I'm not modeling. Every single one of these dresses that I'm trying on for you today, I'm trying them on with a black strapless bra and black underwear. You know, that way you can assess if there's any like see-through issues or to make sure that you can in fact wear a bra with them, all that kind of good stuff. So let's get started. First up, we have this saucy little number from Farm Rio. The one thing I wanted to point out, so first of all, most of the dresses that I am trying on today are all 100% cotton, and this one is no exception. So it's made from this sort of amazing ruching fabric, and I like the flirty little hemline at the bottom. Farm Rio sewed in, if you can see right here, a sort of like a grippy fabric, so these straps won't slide down off your shoulder when you're wearing it very easily. What that also means though is if you wanted to wear a real bra with a strap, these would sort of like stick on top of that strap and not slide off as easily. So I think this dress you could wear with a regular bra. In general, I find these ruched sort of dresses to be like not quite as comfortable as I would like. This one, out of all the ruched dresses I've tried, this is not nearly as scratchy as they usually are, so I think it's fine. But I, I do find in general that the ruching is not super comfy, but it is so sexy and it's fun. And I do like that I can like walk and move in this dress and it doesn't like scrunch up super weird. Overall, I did like this dress and the colors are so pretty. Next up, we have another dress with ruching and this one is more of like a maxi style dress, at least on me, I'm 5'2". I loved the skirt on this dress and I love the pattern of this dress. This is not my dress though. In general, there's a couple things. Like one, the straps that tie are not necessarily a deal breaker for me, but they, they do add a layer of complexity that I find annoying. And because these straps have tiny little beads sewn on them the whole way, as well as this like gorgeous be beaded tassel at the end, it makes them a little bit harder to tie. So I think this dress would be a situation where like once you get the straps tied, I think they're gonna stay nicely, but you have to decide if you want the straps tied up on top of your shoulders, which you know I find in general I don't love because it, I feel like they're kind of flopping around on me. So it takes some time to get right and you actually have to have someone help you. But if you can figure out how to tie them so they hit at the very back hem of the top, I find that in general, I do like that look better and it seems to be a little bit more comfortable too. That said, again, this dress is 100% cotton. It can be easily worn with black underwear, strapless bra. I just, <laughs> I have a tendency to sort of carry my weight like from here to here. Like I'm very like, if I'm gonna put on weight, it's gonna be right here. And so I found overall that this top kind of squeezed, squeezed the, squeezed the stuff right here more than I wanted it to. I would have to wear it like down a little bit lower in order not to have it so squeezy up top. Not everybody has this problem. In general, this is a totally a gorgeous dress. You know, you just have to sort of deal with the ruching and the straps. All right, next up, this is a, sim a dress with a very similar vibe to that ruched dress that we just looked at. I love the sort of like dominating blue in this pattern. Again, this dress is 100% cotton and it is so breezy. This one literally feels like you're wearing nothing. And I like that the buttons like are real, they're functional. This is how you literally get in and out of this dress. This would be amazing for a nursing mom. I really like that there's this sort of like subtle detail at the waist where it's like a little like bit of peekaboo skin, but it's so subtle and so little that it's really just a flash of skin. It's not gonna, you don't have to worry about having like a tight stomach to wear this dress by any means. And the length is amazing. It's like not quite midi, not quite maxi. It's just 
beautiful and breezy and easy to wear. So yeah, this is an easy favorite. Okay, next up, talking about breezy dresses, dude, this might be the coolest dress I've ever worn. It is an, another 100% cotton dress. You can wear a bra with it. You actually can wear a full bra with it. It's the kind of dress that is cut so it almost doesn't touch your body. So like you feel it across the bust, you feel it on your shoulders, and then it just swings out and there's a lot of air that gets up underneath this dress. So I'm definitely keeping this dress. This is going to be the dress that I wear on those like 100 degree days when I'm dying. And it is so fun. And while I feel like the silhouette is sort of like youthful and swingy, it's not so empire wasted that I feel like I'm wearing a maternity dress because I don't feel like wearing maternity dresses anymore. I'm, you know, I'm past that stage. So yeah, this was like a happy medium. And again, I love the colors. I love the strong blue with the oranges and yellows. And this is just like a bright, happy dress. The last of the 100% cotton dresses that I tried on, okay, and obviously this is not a dress. I feel like, Farmerio also does a ton of these like really cute sets. So, so it's like this little like flirty skirt and a matching top. The vibe is definitely a dress. Again, these pieces are 100% cotton. They're super easy to wear. They're super comfortable. I don't mind the ruching, especially when it's just on a skirt. And you know, the advantages you can wear the top with denim and you can wear the skirt with a graphic tee and you know, the mix and match situation is pretty great. Moving on past the 100% cotton dresses, I don't normally, venture far away from natural materials, but there's two dresses that are really special that I do want to talk about. First up is this like really beautiful linen and viscose blend dress. The back is so special. This dress feels so light and airy and the colors, the colors are beautiful. I like how the, the side cutout is just really subtle. Like I said, the back is a total showstopper. But then from the front, the skirt almost has like this vintage vibe. It's almost demure, this dress, even though it's like completely backless. So this felt like a really special piece. I don't know that this color is amazing on my complexion, but if this is your color, this, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find something more, more fun to wear. So highly recommend. So lastly, the, the surprise of this little try on was this, this crazy dress. I'm obsessed. It's another linen and viscose blend. And on the model, it doesn't look that flattering. I actually didn't like it online and that's actually why I ordered it because the picture was so bizarre, but I know Farm Rio dresses are amazing. So I was like, something's not right here. And I'm so glad I tried it because I am 100% keeping this dress. This dress is such a win. The way the dress is made is the cutouts when you're wearing it like look almost daring, but they're very, they're very flattering. There's nothing on this dress that is squeezing you and so, while the cutouts visually appear to be big, they actually hide a lot and they're sort of like strategically placed. So it's actually very easy to wear. I put this dress on with the black bra and the black underwear. It's not sheer, it's not gonna show black underwear. You could see the black strapless bra peeking out, but it totally works. I would, if you need a strapless bra, you could totally still wear this dress. I would just recommend you choose a color that's like meant to be seen like black as opposed to like nude, which then it always kind of looks like your bra is peeking out when it shouldn't. So I would just like pick a color, you know? Um, that said, if you don't mind going braless, this dress gets super sexy without a bra. So this was like, yeah, a nice big surprise. This was a huge win. So that that's it. Seven pieces from Farm Rio. Like I said, they're mostly made from natural materials and they are an absolute joy to wear. And I highly recommend checking them out this summer. So yeah. If you liked this video, we'd love if you would subscribe below. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.